Welcome to Prison Architect Gang Warfare. It's a competition of sorts that allows three gangs to go head to head in a deadly battle for territory and status and money. I spent the first five days building up the prison and getting things ready. But day five, I allowed 30 prisoners to come in at a time. Here they come and let's see how they are. It seems like there's only a few gang members, but we already have a troublemaker. Joe the Colonel Kern. Artist turned killer. Absolute maniac. Checking out their stats, it doesn't look like there's any legendary prisoners, but it does seem like there's lots of gang members. Let's check out, oh, okay. 8, 6, and 14 for red, green, and blue, respectively. It doesn't seem like there's any gang leaders, but we do have the space in case they come. While those guys get processed, let's check out the battleground. It seems like it's just three securities, enough for around 180 people. There is a singular yard and four common rooms scattered around the yard. Well, they're in a pattern. There will be awards for each of the categories for this contest. The most territories, the most kills, the most members, and the most money. Nothing eventful happened today, but the next day, oh boy, that was something else. Fresh Fish, immediately a legendary gang member. Who is this? And we have a legendary member. It looks like Red Gang has their first leader, if I'm not mistaken. It is this Adam Ranger. He, uh, violent order and assaulting an officer by this guy. Let's check it out. All right, and Green Gang. It looks like Red, Green, and Blue actually now have... Oh man, we've already had a fight going. Damon saw this prison and wanted nothing to do with it. We already had our first attempted escape. It's not going to end well with that huge train of cops behind him. After all that got settled, I started trying to get the gang leaders into their gang leader's cell, which I designated as a huge luxurious cell in the center of each security wing. I have somewhat figured out how to assign cells to the gang leaders, so now the gang leaders have their own really luxury cell right here in each of their respective gangs. So that's really cool actually that you can do that and even tells you uh, what kind of cell they are in. So that's good. Right now it's eat time and let's see if we can get enough food out to these guys. Checking out the leaders, we got Adam Ranger for the red gang. We also got Felix Redman for the green gang, kind of ironic name. And finally, we have Matt Venning for the Blue Gang. All of these gangs and leaders and people will all be a part of this experiment. It's going to be great, <laughs> but let's hope they don't die too quickly. Looks like we got the leaders in place. We got an injured dog. Poor Fang. Oh, Fang got injured in that last couple. Unsurprisingly, a couple fights broke out in the canteen. Of course, the guards tried to come in and stop them, but this one was a little bit more special because it led to our first few deaths in this mini death series. The first prisoner to ever die in this series and even gang member was a green gang, Adam Eek Thomas. Had a lot of years to serve, so he was gonna die in here anyways, but still. Oh my goodness, already three dead. Rest in peace. Surveying the scene that almost looked like a remnants of Beckwith, I bid, I bowed, I bedded, I don't know. I said goodbye to the two guards and the prisoner and remembered that there's actually a graveyard. One of the new updates, the many new updates since I've last played Prison Architect, they've added a gravestone object that lets you put down gravestones for every death in the prison. So I made a little separate spot right here to see where I can put down the gravestones, but I don't think it's enough room the more I think about it. It's a shame that they don't have the names on each of the gravestones, but I think that's going to be too many people to remember. <laughs> Those are the first three of very many. I put down some classrooms to eventually educate my prisoners and guards on the things they need to know. However. I didn't realize that there was already some gang business already going on. What I came to next really surprised me. The 
first day happened and I already missed out. <laughs> Blue Gang has already made a move with their 22 members. They are att they attempted and actually easily got the um, the central yard. So good progress actually. Now looks like Blue and Red are having a bit of a fight right here for this common room. A bit of a scuffle maybe earlier even. A little bit injured. We'll need to get him out of the way. The central yard is typically the hardest territory to conquer in any of my gang warfare series. So. The fact that Blue was able to do this so quickly and right off the bat means that they are a strong runner in this competition. A sudden death, let alone in the Red Gang leader's cell. I can't believe it. I hope it's not him. <laughs> Seems like somebody just died. Don't know who it was or how it happened, but it looks like the... Oh no. Oh boy. It looks like the leader for the Red Gang just killed a guard in his own cell for some reason. And he's currently being punished, going to make the Red Gang a little bit more rowdy. This didn't amount to much. However, a new development caught my eye. Oh. Looks like Green has made a move. General Hornbrook just sent off a bunch of them to one of these common rooms so <laughs> they're joining the fray in this one in the bottom left common room all right let's see how many they got in here we got all three just chilling in here now eight eight and eight they are all matched mashed up the general is staying out though for some reason he's i think he's just holding out on this one he knows he might die he doesn't want to you know cause a riot hopefully and it seems like all these people have really destroyed themselves their needs while just chilling here doing gang business wow this is insane all right it's now almost free time let's see how it goes an absolute stalemate they just sat there starving thirsting peeing their pants doing nothing it was crazy the three gangs all in one room trying to fight this territory and nothing went anywhere Right? Nothing happened? <laughs> they all shake hands and go on their merry way, I guess. It's food time. By far, day three was the most eventful day. So many things happened, I can't even keep track of them. Looks like Red Gang is coming in here. Got Richard Hay leading the charge. Bottom left corner. They really like this one. They've already got some guy phoning the family here. Just chilling, probably doing what they should have done a while ago, but it's okay. And it looks like Blue Gang went from their yard. They do not want to give up on this. It looks like Green Gang is in on it too. Oh my goodness. All right. It looks like we've got all three gangs going to start a little fight here if they can. Yes, they did. All right. Looks like we've got his fight. Blue and red. Let's see who wins. Chaos. Green, red, and blue are all in the same rune while blue and red were fighting. Green tried to stay out of it, but that did not last for long. Oh, here comes the guards. Can they outlast the guards? No one's died yet. Someone's about to die though, I can tell. There is one death. Who is it? Who got the kill? Oh! Looks like we got one dead. Looks like it was Han Scott Hancock, dead, killed by a rebel gang member. Who was it? It was a member from the Green Gang. Green Gang coming on strong with their 22 members now um, with one kill. I was surprised. While they were down in member, Green Gang managed to get the first ever kill in this series. Looks like Green Gang might actually, yeah, might actually take over this this swan too, because they only they're only one that have people that are conscious. Fresh fish. In the pandemonium, I completely overlooked that they would be arriving today. Looks like we have no no legendary members here. Just all regular gang members. We do have a snitch though. He might get murdered at some point. Looks like Green Gang may have done their job. Looks like they did. Green Gang has now taken over. Blue Gang has moved up to the top while I wasn't looking and seems to have taken over the top left. They have the most real estate now. They've got the yard and top left common room. Amazing. Red Gang is... Oof. 
Red Gang's on it right now. They're not going to let Red Green take over. Uh, they want to get something on the board before the end of this episode. Oh, they're fighting the Green Gang. Oh, they are literally going to murder these Green Gang members right here. Knock them unconscious. And a dead. One dead. Red Gang gets a kill on someone from the Green. Now that's interesting. Did they only do that? Did they take over the... No. <laughs> they didn't even... They didn't even... Retribution. Red Gang sent some people in, murdered one of the Green Gang, and got revenge for the person that they lost. They weren't finished yet. Even while he's being carried off by a doctor, Red Gang tried to kill another Green member. Seems to have left their little post in the top left. I think they're gonna have a firm hold into the night on that real estate. Looks like we got some more fights going on in here, down here in the bottom left. Let's just check out their gang affiliation so we can... Another death. Red take out another green. Oh my goodness. Red has two kills now to their name. And green seems to have uh, lost two members. And another death. Overdosed. Ah. Oh. That's unfortunate. It looks like we have another <laughs> gang fight here. It was now eat time. A brief respite from the fight as all the gangs go back into their canteens to refuel for the next half of the long day. Seems like Blue had two territories while Green had one. The new members still have yet to be processed, but they might still be there in time for the next free time. The Green Gang leader, of course, got another escape attempt. Felix Redman is just so much trouble. But he doesn't last very long, and we eventually stop him. This will cause all sorts of problems when he gets caught. Redman made it pretty far out into the prison, and this actually made me stop and add some more fences to prevent more prisoners like Redman to try to go north and south once they get out the main gate. Hopefully this will encourage prisoners to kill each other instead of trying to escape. It was now the next free time. Green controlled the southwest common room and seemed to be making a move for the top right common room as well. Naturally, this was going to be met with resistance. Blue seemed to have the same idea. As the red gang leader chilled in the chapel having a good praying time, Tensions rose between the blue and green gang in the top right common room. A group of blue gang members seem to be causing trouble, maybe even possibly trying to escape from their security. No, that's just gang business. Riot. Blue and green started killing each other in the top right common room. It was horrible. Green lost a member immediately. It looks like Blue is also coming in to maybe even help? We don't know. Let's just find out. Seems like we got a replacement for Fang. Oh, this is Joy. All right, interesting, very interesting. I don't think anybody won that fight, to be honest. I think guards won that. But now it looks like green is gonna come up onto red and they're going to either go into this room or this room. Let's see what goes up first. <clears throat> it seems like green is already onto this room and okay, green versus red now. It was blue versus green, now it's green versus red. <laughs> they're losing members though. Each of these uh, now have two kills. They got two, two, and now green only has one with 24 members. They're losing them left and right. How is this going to last? Seems like green has just taken over this one easily. Blue is keeping their yard. They really like the yard. Red seems like they might be winning this one over here. Yeah, if they can knock out one more person or two. Oh, looks like it's got moved over. Looks like 
red is chasing out green. I don't think anybody wins this one. Yeah, nobody wins this one either. Guards won that one again. All right. It's free time. It doesn't look like there's going to be any more gang business, except green might be planning some right now. Yeah, green might be trying to plan to take over one of these since all the other members have been taken out of contention. This will give them actually a huge opportunity to start something big. I don't know if there's a riot or a fight going on already. There it is. Blue was planning something really, really big. I believe their target is the top right common room. Let's hope this doesn't end in everyone's death. Looks like they're in here for the top right. They're they are ambitious. They are really going for it. it. Looks like they'll be the only ones to take it too. If red doesn't do anything, if red takes this one and green stays here, let's see how it goes. And there they were, trying to take over yet another territory. And it seemed like they was clear. It seems like they were going to have three. But look, coming from the south was red. They had all intentions to stop blue from taking over the entire yard. Oh, another death. Looks like a red member got murdered. Blue with three kills. He just lost a member though. This guy just got dead. Some overdose. They're really losing their, they really like drugs. That's what's going to kill him. Stalemate. It seems like the guard gang came in and stopped the whole riot, knocking almost everyone unconscious, making sure nobody won. Oh, but they're going for this one, blue and red, now. They have multiple groups trying to take over, as the guards do try to do and do the best to stop them. They may need to remove some of the guards. Another fight between blue and red for the southeast common room. It ended nearly the same exact way as the Northeast fight ended up. However, that doesn't mean that they were done trying to get more territory. Green, gathered in a mass, traveled eastwards, probably to the Northeast or Southeast common room. Looks like Red is going to come over here, and they will have free real estate. It doesn't look like anybody else is going to try to contend. So Red is the one that needs to get on the board. I call out the Red Gang, as they were the only gang that didn't have territory yet. But that doesn't mean that they were done. Oh, looks like Blue is going for something too. I didn't even see them come in. Now that lays up. Green got their common room. Blue is about to claim this one and have the most common rooms out of everybody. They'll have two top and this middle yard. And that's, that's incredible. And there it is. Blue now has three territories. Green has two. Red has none. Red, they need to start picking it up. I don't know if because their leader keeps on trying to escape instead of helping them. Like, I don't know what this guy's doing. What is he doing? Just going on a walk? So we've got a little fight between blue and red. Red just try to come over and take some territory. Doesn't look like it's working out too well for them though. At <laughs> all. Red had made a move on the northeast common room. Blue was there to stop them and so were the guards. So this was fruitless. Blood is everywhere. <laughs> the stats as it were, red with 27 members and 2 kills, green with 24 members and 1 kill, and blue with 28 members and 3 kills. Green seemed to be making a move on the northwest common room. Let's see how this ends up. There was no one left. No one left uninjured to contest the territory that green was trying to take blue was about to lose their lead on territory of control green might actually take it by the end of this day they have one more hour they have and they've taken it interesting 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 all right green now has three territories i thought it was going to be blue by far but no green with the least amount of members, still has the most amount of territories. They're now tied with red for kills, and red and blue are tied for the number of members. This looks like green leader is just chilling, knowing that they're doing good work, trusting his lieutenants. Lieutenant Aston is one, 
and Lieutenant Simpson is another. Green had done it. They now control a majority of the battlefield. With three common rooms, all they need to do is take over the fourth and then the yard, and they'll have complete and total control. Let's see how this ends up next episode. All right, sun is setting, the blood is being cleaned. Seems like the territories have stayed the same, kills have stayed the same, two, two, three, no monies. And it's now becoming eat time in like 10 seconds, so night was falling. The end of the day was near, and the fighting for this episode would be complete. As it stands right now, it seems like green is dominating. This is a completely new idea that I've had, so please give me feedback on what you want to know, if there's music or editing, or if you don't like my voiceovers, or if you want to see this more live, anything. But until then, I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, night, or evening, and I will see you next time.